Hi, this is RJ with SingleDad.com, and today's how-to on single-parent cooking is my fettuccine pasta dish. I use a little bit of shrimp, I throw in some real simple ingredients, and I'm going to show you how basically in 30 minutes or less, we're going to make a great meal. Now, some of the ingredients I like to use, of course, got to have my fresh garlic, got to have my red onion, and to make this spicy pasta dish possible, I use the Cajun Choice Creole Seasoning. This Creole seasoning is really perfect on shrimp and just the right amount of spice and saltiness. I, I just love the way that this comes through with the flavor on this. The other items I'm going to be using, of course, got to have my olive oil. I'm going to take a little bit of garlic salt, a little bit of crushed red pepper. In terms of my fresh ingredients, uh, since I'm using uh, this as a shrimp fettuccine pasta dish, I go ahead and get the Costco brand frozen raw and I'm using the 21 to 25 count and it's de-veined. So this is something I buy in bulk at Costco. When I'm ready to cook it, basically you just put it under some warm water. It is already defrosted. I'm going to take the tails off and I'll show you how I spice that, that dish up. Okay, so now we have the green onion, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and chop the ends off. Nice coarse chop here, and place all the green onion stems on a plate here. I probably have about five green onions on this bunch here, and I am going to gather them all on a plate. Because I'm going to use it later down the road when I start mixing in my pasta on the second time around, my second fry on that. And uh, just like any good dish under single parent cooking, when your kids refuse to eat it, I think it's always a good, it's a good single parent exercise to do what I do, which is interview your kids and find out what five protein food groups they like. You just gotta go through the list of beef, chicken, fish, pork, turkey, even try bacon, and just, just take, a, take a look at this sample of my interview with my daughter and just going through the list. You'll see what I mean. And you'll, you'll, you'll... Okay, the proteins. Do you like beef? No. Do you like chicken? No. Do you like turkey? No. Do you like fish? No. Do you like pork? No. Do you like bacon? No. Okay, so now we have the tomato. I'm just going to go ahead and slice this up. And just like any single parent cooking for their children, they don't like the goo, the goo in the tomato. So just run your fingers through the tomato to remove the seeds and the goo. So it just kind of looks like a wagon wheel. Just like that, the wagon wheel. So now I have the green onion and the tomato separated like this. And I'll be using that for the mix. Now what I need to do is I'm going to work on the shrimp and check on the pasta. Standard fettuccine. I'm going to go ahead and break off, since there's four of us, and take the box. I'm going to just break off about half of it and slowly drop it into the hot pan of water and a little bit of olive oil, like this. And I'm going to dice up some of my red onion. And just like we've had in past single dad, single parent how to recipes. The key to not getting your eyes all watery. What's the key, Mia, in regards to onions? What's that? Wet knife. The wetter the knife, right? The less the tears. So you got to keep your knife wet and your onion wet, right, Mia? Yeah. Onion wet as well as your knife wet. I've got one huge tablespoon. So now I have my onions and my olive oil and the garlic all sitting like that. I'm going to put it in a small pan here and get that started. And remember how I had the shrimp? I have the shrimp seasoned right now. It's going to go into the hot pan and we're going to just go ahead and cook that shrimp in with the garlic and the onions, get a nice flavor on it. Again, according to your likeness, I like it a little spicy. I'm really lucky that my kids like spicy. Even Mia, right Mia? You like the spice? Yeah. It's 
So Mia is now getting a spicy appetite. I'm going to grab some of my green onions, not a lot. Just going to take a couple of them, put them in a the pan with the sauteed onions and garlic. And we'll wait for that pan to heat up and I'll keep stirring the pasta. Okay, I have my onions and my garlic sitting here at sauteing. and let it soak up a little bit more before I drop the shrimp in it. I'm keeping everything at about a medium heat right now, medium to high on the pasta, medium medium high on, on the uh, sauteing of the onions and garlic. I'm going to grab my shrimp, going to throw it in right now. I'm going to try to avoid the splash, keep the pan hot, so I want to keep the lid over the pan while the shrimp is right now warming up and browning. Keep a medium, medium high temperature on the shrimp. Make sure you stir it frequently so you don't burn on any sides. Let the shrimp absorb into the garlic and the onions. It's going to taste amazing. We've got it seasoned with the Cajun Spice Creole seasoning, a little bit of red pepper flake, and a little bit of garlic salt. When we get done with that, we set that aside. We're going to then check on the pasta, dry out the pasta, then we're going to go back in the pan and mix all of them together. The shrimps are cooked. And now we're going to put that heat on low and a lid on it and take it off the heat. I've now taken the shrimp off the heat and it's now sitting with the lid on because it's now fully cooked. I'm going to move the pasta over here to dry out and then we're going to put it all together with a little bit of sauce. Okay, so there's my fettuccine and my Glasses are getting steamed up. I'm going to let this cool off for a little bit and dry out. If I want to accelerate the drying process, I just grab a couple of paper towels like this, bunch it up on the top, and that will help accelerate the drying process. Just keep spreading that towel around the pasta noodles. that. Now I have standard basil, tomato basil sauce. What I'm going to do with that, so once I start heating up the pasta in a, in a frying pan, in this pan I'm going to put some oil in it again and I'm going to put the noodles in and I'm going to start frying the noodles. As the noodles start to fry, they're going to brown and crisp on the ends. I'm going to start throwing everything else, the tomato, the onions, the shrimp, and then the pasta sauce, and then we're done. One of the things I like to do is I take this Creole seasoning and sprinkle it on the pasta while it's frying, basically lightly browning. It helps accelerate the browning process as well as it, it captures that same Creole flavor, the spiciness flavor in the pasta as, as well as the dish. Now I'm going to take the green onions and put them into the frying pasta and the tomatoes go on last. I now have the shrimp on top of the pasta and the green onions and now I'm sprinkling in my tomatoes. And at this point, it's really not necessary, but I like to add a little red pasta sauce. I get asked this often. It tastes good just the way it is right now without any sauce. But for those of you at home, it's perfectly okay to add a vodka sauce or like I'm using the tomato basil. You only need probably about three tablespoons if you want it lightly coated or half the jar, which will be a nice heavy coat. Okay, so this is my dish. This is the fettuccine pasta, twice cooked pasta with shrimp, onions, and tomatoes. I hope you enjoy the recipe. Let me know your feedback. Please send me an email at rj at singledad.com. That's rj at singledad.com. Send me your single parent recipes or any recipes for that matter. And just remember, you can win their imagination on the dance floor, but you win their hearts in the kitchen.